Timia says, Hi, Kyle. I recently made a big decision that I felt called to by my soul. I have also realized that even though I had the opportunity for years to save money, I just blew all of it. I have nothing to show for it. Something in me feels like this is right. Like what you're saying is there's not a there's not a part of me that wants to go, who's asking that or whatever. It's like you've caught a pattern right? I blew all of it. I have nothing to show for all I worked. Okay, that's fine. First of all, let's go into that before we go. I have nothing to show for all that I worked. Everything is accounted for. Every thought you have, everything you've ever done, everything you're feeling is accounted for. So yeah, you might not have a, something to show other people's egos to feed your ego that you're seen by other egos, but you saw it. And if you worked and you saw it, yeah, you don't have any material stuff. So what? So that's good. Had you gotten material stuff, I can already tell something to show all you've worked for, then you would have never seen all you worked for. You and God see everything, right? So had you had a bunch of material stuff, then you would have measured your success based on the couch and the car, and then not noticed that it's about you seeing what you've done. Here's a good example even though I was very proud of the fact that I got a stripe, is the goal to get stripes or is the goal to find myself? And if they didn't give me a stripe, would that have mattered? Would I be less whatever I'm at jujitsu if I didn't get some external reward? Does that make sense? So why do I need the measurable thing? Sometimes it's fun. It's awesome. But imagine that life, Timia, is trying to teach you true validation, which is you seeing what God sees, even if no one in the world sees it. In fact, a lot of the Tao Te Ching teaches do stuff that no one sees. You know? do Like, ask yourself, if there was a secret camera on me all the time, what would I do? You know, you'd find yourself probably giving money to someone as, that needs it. You'd find yourself picking up trash more on the street. You'd find yourself, and then you'll start to become the camera on you, right? And then you won't need to be doing it because someone else saw it. You'll become the camera on you. So you need to know, Tamia, that there is, there's no truth and you have nothing to show because you know for all you worked. And that set you up to ask this question of me to answer it tonight. And it says, this is bringing me back to crippling shame that once again, I'm a loser. So you're in patterns of other people's opinions. That's, that's not true, right? We already know that's not true, right? So Timia, do you know that's not true that you're a loser? You already know it's a pattern. It's other people's patterns. You probably even know who's right? Who's incapable of doing basic things and then seem to come up with ease. So I want you to just notice that's there and notice you have permission to not enter it as true. The biggest addiction we have, which means it's a freaking choice, is shame. It's not to drugs or sex or alcohol or overeating. It's to shame. It's an addiction. Don't participate in it. You can become present and let shame come up and leave, or you can keep addictively shaming yourself because you're actually identified with the shame. If the shame goes, I die is the actual thought. You get what I'm saying? Then the next thing says, why the hell can I grow up? Now the shame's just talking. Is it because I have ADD? Why is it? I'm the figure outer now. See how the shame gives us a dead end question with a dead end answer. Is it because I have ADD? I want to be an adult so badly. That's the sentence God goes, okay, take out so badly, gently, without pressure, say, God, I'm open to becoming the, the age that I am. I'm open to finding the adult me. I'm open to finding a new power and then just be chill and follow the higher things, right? Create an intention. God, I want to be an adult now. Okay. Isn't that awesome, Tamia? 
right? Instead of just being like, look at all this stuff. Why the hell can't I grow up? We don't need that. I want you to know anytime you say that sentence, that's not you or anything like that. Why do I always do this? Just stop. That's not you talking. It can be heard, but not followed. Do you see the difference? Why can I grow up as a kid? You become present, right? I hear that you're mad at yourself. And who's you? The one that's here and loving. Are you with me on this, Timmy? This is big. You don't want to grow up. You are grown up. But the kid that's shaming itself is the kid. The one that says, why the hell can't I grow up? Because the kid can't grow up. The kid just dies and you're an adult. The kid just slowly dissolves and you're an adult. The kid can't grow up. The kid just stops being useful at one point. Did you get that? The kid can't grow up, right? So you can't make the ego grow up. You just stop participating in the shame and the kid's actions. And I want you to just notice the shame and the kid are the same, right? Timia says, so it's holding on to shame so it won't die? Yes. That's what death, egoic death is required for you to not ask the question, why do I always do this? Why can't I grow up? Is it because I have ADD? Like you're actually even answering. Is it because I have this thing? I'm not saying isn't legitimate, but was (laughs) man-made? Was man-titled at least, right? Sometimes ADD is like, I don't like being told I have to study this history lesson. So I'm looking out the window and daydreaming about my real life. And then they're like, you have a thing, you know, or I'm having a hard time paying attention to just shit that doesn't matter. Right. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you have a grown up thing going on and you just can't pay attention to nothing. I would have ADD every time someone talks about sales at JCPenney or football. I have ADD every time someone at the, every time someone I literally leave when someone at the gym says to my trainer, is this guy giving you trouble? Blah, 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 whatever the thing is, I just like, okay, I can't even, I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything. I know you know that, but I can't, I can't do it. I can't join that. Right. It's like I and I'm I, instead of me going, why do I have that? And asking for an egoic diagnosis to sell me pills, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to have compassion for myself. I forgive it. Maybe that's actually not interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Like that's that is you. Maybe Timmy, there's nothing wrong with you. Can you receive that? What if there's no solution to be had? Watch how that scares you. If I say there's no solution, watch if you freak out. What if there's nothing to figure out? Well, then I'm scared that everything's fine. Luckily for Rachel, that excites her and probably several of you. But realize to find a solution means you must have a problem. So if you're finding a solution, you're also keeping and hoarding a problem. You get this? Timia, does that help? Be with the idea that you don't have anything wrong with you and let the patterns that defend you do fall out. Like, I don't have, you know, I don't have anything to show for it. Yeah, you do because it exists. It's not your idea of things that are seen are that someone else physically saw it. Shown means someone else's ego, not God. God knows. And it maybe it's time for you to do something also, not because you need something to show for it, but because you need to be in the doing, to be in the actual journey. Let's go on a journey. Let's be in a journey together. I'm proud of my stripe, but I'm way prouder of what I did to get it. Right? I'm prouder of what I became and you can't just be handed a stripe. I wouldn't be proud of it. I'm just walking down the street and someone put a stripe on my belt. I'd be like, great. I wouldn't be like, I got a stripe. Everyone like a guy put tape on my belt. I'm proud of me and my process. Right. And so Timia, this is an opportunity for you to be in the journey, not the destination for you to undo shame, shame thinks in black and white, be, okay with yourself now, know that everything that happened before now is right because it happened. 
And now we're just going to adjust a little bit. And as time happens, you're going to gently become more and more okay with yourself. Be present. Listen to the shame compassionately, but don't cater to the shame. Right? Literally, the shame said, I am a loser. I hear it. So be present for a little kid inside that says, I'm a loser. I hear you. You don't even say you're not because that's correcting it. It's judgmental. Right? You're allowed to be a loser in my body because you're learning unconditional love. Unconditional love loves even losers. Hey, would you like to take the question in the video that you just saw and not just see a video, but do something with it? Here's an opportunity to actually do a little exercise that can help you not just see a video for entertainment, but actually get something and create an actual tangible change. Do you have a sentence that you use all the time to shame yourself? A sabotaging sentence like, why do I always do this? Why am I such a screw up? Why am I such a loser? I wanna offer you the idea that the sentence that you say is something that until you bring it out of you and put it on paper, is a sentence that you unconsciously identify with. And as long as you identify with sentences like this, you'll never release them. So if you want right now, take the biggest sentences that you say and write them down on a piece of paper. Or if you want, write them in the comments. This is a great opportunity for you to show the sentences that you have stuck in your body and then bring them to light and show other people and show them that the sentences of shame that they have are not, they're not the only ones, that we all have these sentences. You start to create a new pattern where you'll notice that when the sentence comes up, you'll be able to say, that's not me. And you'll be able to listen to it compassionately, but you don't have to cater to it as if you are such a screw up or you are such a loser. You're the now. These sentences aren't you, they're just sentences. You don't have to personalize them as yours. And when you see the comments, you'll see a lot of us have these sentences in our body and we now are moving to a place where they're not ours, they're just sentences. They're just our parents talking from their childhoods. But today's the day that we take a deep breath in and write these things out and move to a place of now. You're just now, and the sentences of shame aren't yours, and you don't have to keep re-picking them up anymore. They have nothing to do with you. You're just now, and all of your past story doesn't exist. So take the sentences that are stuck in your body, write them down, put them on paper, and let's see what happens when you stop identifying as these sentences. Check out the comments and see how not alone you are. Hey, do you think child sex trafficking shouldn't exist? I think it shouldn't exist. So we had a two day event in March that's about to be a new video series on the Absolutely Everything Pass. You'll only be able to get it on the Absolutely Everything Pass. Our two day event called Freeing All Children Inside and Out was my favorite event that I've ever done. It had me for two days and then Tim Ballard came on, was vulnerable, shared his story and what he does and shifted himself at the event too. People were healing their inner child all over the place. And every dollar that went to that event went to stopping child trafficking and the money went to Operation Underground Railroad. Now you can see that whole two day event, shift your life and also have a little bit more awareness of what's going on in the world. It'll really help you heal your stuff because you'll realize different things that are going on in the world and change your perspective. You will easily move from service to self to service to others and you'll be in a place of contribution and the byproduct is your story that you're suffering through will easily be brought to light and leave right now you can get the absolutely everything pass for 299 and that's the only place you'll be able to see that event it's going to come out this summer and if you want to get the absolutely everything pass for 299 which is a price cut from 795 you can right now and be ready to see the event that's coming out freeing all children inside and out then after that you can come see us live spend two days with myself and my friend tim ballard and a bunch of other amazing people in a 1900 seat theater in Salt Lake City, Utah, and give that money to Operation Underground Railroad. So far, our two events combined have brought in over $600,000 to stop child trafficking. We are so excited about this, and you have a chance to contribute and both heal yourself while changing the world. It's a win, win, win. You gotta do this.
step into something bigger, and do yourself from your small story. Join us on the Absolutely Everything Pass and get ready to learn what's really going on in all areas and heal your small story. You know, we have this thing where we're obsessed with keeping our small worlds going. We get so excited about, I, 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 this, my story is I date this person or I eat this way or whatever it is, I have this job. And life is doing everything it can to shatter your small world so that you can get connected to the true world of what's going on. You have the capacity to actually create change literally just by hearing what's going on, bringing more light to it, and then contributing to changing it. Leave the matrix of your small story and join us on the Absolutely Everything Pass. See the almost thousand hours of content that we've created so far. Watch our live events and then get ready for our amazing two-day event, Freeing All Children Inside and Out. Also this summer, July 4th, the new movie, The Sound of Freedom comes out. Make sure you see this movie where Jim Caviezel plays my friend, Tim Ballard. And I wanna dare you to show up and contribute to that and show the rest of the world we're done with this crap.